My name's Ryan, and today we're going to meet one of our animal keepers to learn a little bit about enrichment. Enrichment involves using toys, tools, and other objects to enhance the lives of the animals here at the Houston Zoo. Let's go see what they have to offer. Hey Tina, how you doing? Hey Ryan! Good Thanks to see you. Thanks for coming you. down. I heard you got some great stuff for us today. Yes, we have a basketball for a red cap manga bee Kerchak. Okay. And what kind of activity can we expect to see today? Well, what he likes to do is he likes to pick it up and likes to throw it against everything. And he normally plays with it all day long. Why is this important for us to do these kind of activities? Well, this actually, you wouldn't think it, but it does represent a natural behavior that he would do in the wild. In the wild, they would take rocks and they'll use them as tools and they'll break open things. They'll actually fish for mussels and they'll go in and they'll take a rock and they'll, they'll bang it up across or they'll throw the muscle around and break it that way so it's really good for him. And how long will a ball like this last? Well unfortunately he pops it quit pretty quickly like usually it lasts about a day um, and then somewhere by the end of the day he pops it. Okay, so if he pops it, what do you do with them? Do you have an example of one? We, we do, see actually. Um, he normally can usually have it even after he's popped it for about a week, but then in about a week it ends up looking like this. And then we have to take it away because it starts to have some frays in it and it has pretty big holes. Um, and so then it becomes a safety issue. So for us, our biggest thing is we want to enrich our animals, but we want them to be safe at the same time. Let's get the good ball and let's go check it out. All right, great. I'll follow you. All right. So Tina, how often do we offer enrichment here at the zoo? We give our primates enrichment every single day. Every day? Every day so, they get something. Obviously it's not a ball every day. What kind of other things can we expect to see? Well, we give different kinds of food enrichment. We'll do puzzle feeders where they actually have to figure out how to get the food out and that's really important, so. Great, great. I'm anxious to see what the, what the mango bees will do with the ball. Yeah, let's put it in. All right, are we all set? We're all set, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in and let him out. So Tina, tell me a little bit about mango bees. Are they an endangered animal? They are, they're very endangered. These guys are from Africa and there's not very many of them left. So Tina, why is enrichment important for the animals here? I mean, is it really important that we give a basketball to a mango bee? It actually is. Enrichment's really important for all animals, but especially with primates. Um, we definitely want to keep them active um, and we want to give them things to stimulate their mind. So the mango bees have basketballs here. Is there anything that people at home can do for their, their pets, dogs, cats? I mean, surely you guys have some great ideas for enrichment there. Of course, there's lots of items. If you go to your pet store, you can find all different kinds of balls for your animals, um, especially dogs. A lot of dogs like to fetch them. Um, it's a really good natural behavior for them to do it with cats. They like to chase things so you can get little balls that you can play with them. Just always make sure, you know, it's the appropriate ball for your animal. And I think I heard the Houston Zoo has an Amazon wish list that includes primates, carnivores, and a couple other different animals. Is that true? Can people buy things and have them shipped to the zoo? It is true. We do have an Amazon wish list and you can find it on our website. Well, Tina, thank you so much for teaching me all this about manga bees and letting me see the enrichment. And I really look forward to seeing more enrichment here yeah. around the zoo. No problem. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Bye. I hope you learned a little bit about what we do here at the Houston Zoo and what you can do at home to enrich your pets. Please monitor your animals anytime novel enrichment is introduced. Just because the item you give may be safe for one animal does not mean it will be safe for all, even if the animals are the same species. Watch for signs of stress and be sure you check the item before and after you give it to the animal each time. That's all from us here at the Houston Zoo. Be sure to check back for more enrichment ideas.